Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're switching it up and doing something a little different. So if you guys are like me, you've been chilling this quarantine. And of course, because everything is closed, um, you pretty much fell off from your normal routine probably. I know that I did. So today I'm just going to be showing you guys kind of like my spa day routine, um, how I pretty much am trying to get back into the habit of doing everything. So to start off, I'm going to be dermaplaning my face. If you don't know what that means, essentially it's just shaving your face with a razor, removing any of the extra peach fuzz that we may have because I've been looking like a little monkey from Jumanji lately and I don't like that. So probably once every month or twice every month I do this to remove any unwanted hair. Like I said, peach fuzz because it really be noticeable and it makes your foundation sit different when you have peach fuzz on your face. Um, dermaplaning, it also exfoliates your skin by removing any dead skin cells. Um, and I've also noticed that any kind of textured skin that I have on my face, like especially on my forehead, which is why I don't wear makeup on my forehead, um, it kind of evens that out. And like as you go through with the razor, like you notice that it, it becomes more even. I can't really explain it, but but I definitely do notice a difference in texture to my skin after and before dermaplaning. So next I'm going to be going in with my cleanser. I've shown this on my channel before. That's because I really do like it and I got it from my job. This is by Dr. Rogers and it's an all natural cleanser. So I've been really loving all natural products recently. So there's no harmful chemicals. Um, but this cleanser in particularly, like I said, it's all natural, but it doesn't dry your face out afterwards. So after I apply the cleanser, I'm just going to go in with my exfoliating brush for a deeper cleanse. And then we're just going to go in and work that cleanser throughout my face. So any remaining dead skin that's lingering, we can just go ahead and get that off. Um, but this is pretty much how I cleanse my face and then I'll go in with my Vaseline. The Vaseline has saved me multiple times. I have a really, really bad habit of biting my lips and sometimes I bite them until they bleed. But this has repaired my lips in days. So Vaseline it is. Next, I like to go in with a mask. Um, masks, they just do something really different to your skin. Like it just gives you that afterglow effect with some masks. But this time I'm going with my Teamy Detox Mask. I've been using it for quite some time now and I actually really do like it. So as you guys can see, I'm going to be applying it to my forehead, my cheeks, and my chin as well. And then I'm going to be dragging it down to my T-zone. Um, like I said, all masks, they have different um, benefits that they're supposed to help with. So for this particular mask, like I said, um, it is all natural again. But I've noticed that when I do use it and after I wipe it off or after I rinse it off, my face is much, much brighter. It just looks much clearer and it just looks so much healthier afterwards. Like my skin is not dried out. It's soft to the touch and that's really what I love about my mask. Um, so for this particular mask, I do know that it's made out of bentonite clay, lemongrass, and matcha green tea. So if y'all don't know those ingredients, those are really good ingredients for detoxifying skins and just removing any type of pore buildup and especially bentonite clay like i've heard so many people rave about that ingredient about that product and how well it works so if you guys would like to try this teeny blend mask um i do have a promotional code for you it's to save 20 percent off i will add it on the screen and i will link it down in the description and you guys obviously know that i want to recommend something to you guys that i don't like personally that's just not how i am but for this particular product i've actually added it to my skincare routine along with a few other products may i add um so again like i said because i did add it to my skincare routine this is definitely something that i really do like okay so now that we have our mask on we're gonna get prepped for the shower so as you guys can see my hair is still straight it's been straight for about a week and a half now so i just put it up in a real little tight low bun and as you guys can see i got my grandma bonnet right there a little trick of mine is that i flip my bonnet inside out because for some reason they always put the silkier side of the bonnet on the outside which really doesn't make sense because the inside always be a little bit more rougher than the outside so i'm like no we gotta we gotta flip it and y'all see how i was looking with that pink bonnet and that shower cap like i honestly need to come up with my own bonnet and shower cap line because it honestly doesn't make sense how i'm looking like somebody's grandma i'm not even a whole parent yet but that's that's my plan for the future to change the bonnet and shower cap game um so next we're gonna be hopping in the shower and obviously we're gonna be doing our normal shower routine 
And aside from just hopping in the shower, um, I'm still working from home. I've been working from home since March and I work in retail, retail customer service, sales, and honestly, my shower time is the time where I get to just like relax and like take a deep breath, that hot water be hitting different. So I pretty much just kind of release all of like the negative energy that I had from that day and just try to relax a little bit more. So that's normally what I do in the shower besides like shaving and exfoliating my legs. Um, but with the exfoliating, I do this before shaving this time just so that way my skin isn't more irritated. But I mainly exfoliate my legs because I really do um, suffer with ingrown hairs. Like I be seeing them little things all over my body pretty much and it's just honestly annoying. So by exfoliating my skin, it pretty much helps with that. So now that we're out of the shower, it's just time to remove the mask. So to loosen it up, I wet my face and then I use my washcloth in circular motions to remove it. And as you guys can see, my skin just looks so much clearer. It looks much, much brighter and it's not dry at all, which is again why I really do love that mask. And to lock in that moisture, I'm going to go in with my Glow Recipe. Um, this is their moisturizer serum. It's their moisturizer serum. I do apply that over top of the mask because the mask it is hydrating, but the serum locks in that moisture. Last but not least, we're going to go in with a little lotion. We can't be ashy and we're going to hit those spots. But yeah, that is all that I have for you guys today. I do hope you guys like my spa day routine. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and I will see you guys in my next video.